Singing was the very first thing I called on to when I was young, uh, very young. Uh, both my mother and my father are, are both singers. Uh, my mom, she sang mostly in um, musical theater type things, cabaret. Sometimes she would join the local church. Um, she often practiced with a vocal teacher and she always took me with her. She, always, she took me with her practically everywhere. Uh, my father, on the other hand, he sang in a lot of um, different types of bands, funk bands, soul bands, R&B bands, even rock bands, doo-wop groups, barbershop quartets. He did some studio recordings for some different artists uh, throughout his time. And uh, he was even part of one of the earlier um, and rare gospel musicals called uh, Mama, I Want to Sing. Um, and they were separated before I came along. But um, watching them and just being present, um, it, it, that could have that would have just been enough on its own. But um, it obviously didn't stop there. I grew up with mom and she just kept me busy all the time. Um, she always sent me to extracurricular activities like Harlem School of the Arts or Boys Choir Harlem. Um, I, and I ended up in the New York Young People's Chorus as well. And through that, I gained a lot of experience. I got a lot of experience. We performed in all kinds of great places, um, prestigious, legendary places. Uh, Apollo, Carnegie Hall, Wardolph Astoria, uh, Lincoln Center. Um, we performed all over the US. We even went to Europe. Uh, and we sang stuff from all over the world. We sang in different languages, maybe about five to seven different languages, different styles. And, um, and I excelled to the point um, to by the time I was around 12, I could memorize pretty much our entire repertoire, um, all the harmonies for the entire choir, and I would memorize everything by heart. Um, and then I left around 13 when puberty hit. And But I went out with a bang. I went out with uh, one of the only vocal solos on um, New York Young People's Chorus uh, first record. So I'm real proud of that. Um, and then at the same time, Pretty much every weekend that I could possibly make it happen, I would hang out with my dad. He lived in Connecticut. And pretty much every ride I took with him in his car from New York to Connecticut, I learned something. I learned something about music or dancing or some kind of real life issue that he would uh, break down in a, in a funny story of some sort. And, um, and he always exposed me to new and old school singers all the time. Um, and he showed me where their strengths and their flaws were. And he even linked a lot of the new hip hop and R&B stuff that was coming out at the time. He would link all of that stuff to its origins, to the original songs. So he would tell me what they were. And then it got to the point where he would start testing me and making me name singers just by hearing their voice or by hearing the song or something like that. Um, identifying the singing styles breaking down techniques and um, and you know when I was well into my you know writing my own creative phase and you know, he was coaching me on my performing skills and my writing um, and he always challenged me just to do better all the time um, and just constantly raise the standard um, and that just between my father and now that went on for 20 years um, so now by the time I came over to Europe I got involved with all kinds of bands, indie rock bands, uh, folk music groups, acoustic bands and cover bands, plus the whole urban scene stuff with the hip hop and R&B, soul music and um, electronic music, you know, house music, whatever it may be. Um, and that went on for another 10 years. And pretty much throughout all of that time, I was also taking in inspirations that kind of resonated with me the most and coming up with my own vocal perspective and style while I pretty much developed it more or less through trial and error, you know, and in using the knowledge that I had. So it's just it's just been a lot, you know, over the over the years. Um, so now nowadays I just constantly take that knowledge with me and the experience when I'm performing or recording or working with with other artists all the time. So yeah, I, I love to sing. Singing is something I love to do.